Hey golf people, I absolutely love golf watches. I'm a golf watch fanatic in fact. And I thought it'd be fun just to put together a buying guide for all of you golf watch shoppers out there. There are so many options, so many features, so many brands. I'm gonna help you cut through the clutter today, I hope, and help you find the right golf watch for you. I've got no dog in the fight. I just wanna break it all down for you so you can make a wise decision. I also wanna say that all of these watches, with the exception of one, are available at our show sponsor, playbetter.com, home of the best prices on the internet for golf technology. So check them out, obviously, when you use their links. You also support what we do here. So if you get value from what I do and from this buying guide, I hope you will consider using playbetter.com. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about with these golf watches is value. And there are basically three tiers of golf watches out there. There's the basic tier, what I call the advanced tier, and then the super luxury tier. If we talk first about the basic tier here, I'm gonna go ahead and put the Bushnell Ion Elite as well as the Garmin S12 in this category. The Bushnell Ion Elite is basically a no frills watch, but it does have one really cool advanced feature in there, which we will talk about here in just a second. But this watch retails for $199 at MSRP. The Garmin S12 is the entry point for the Garmin Golf family of watches, and it's a really solid option. Really, both of those options completely solid, and both priced at $199 at MSRP. Now, you can find deals on all of these watches, but I'm gonna give you the MSRP numbers here as we go along. Now, the next category, I'm gonna go ahead and call the advanced category. This is a category where you're getting a really feature-packed watch, and the price point is not going to completely leave you homeless and wifeless out there. These can be had for a reasonable amount of money, considering. I mean, golf is an expensive sport, but I think this is pretty much a good value you category in terms of what you get to what you pay. In this category, I would place a watch like the Shotscope V3. This retails for $219. I would also put the Garmin S42 in this category. Again, a lot of features. It packs a lot of punch. It's $299 at MSRP. The next watch on the list is the Sky Caddy LX5. Again, you're getting access to some more advanced features, a great screen, which we're gonna talk about, and that watch retails for $299. Lastly, in this category, we'll put the Voice Caddy T9. The Voice Caddy T9 retails for $349. The last category here, really the top of the line or the cutting edge category, I will put two watches in this category, both from the same brand, both from Garmin, but the Garmin S62, which is the top of the golf line of watches for Garmin, as well as the Garmin Epix and Mark II Golfer, which are the same watch from a feature perspective and what the watches can do, and the materials and construction perspective is where those two watches differ. So there you have basically the price differential. Now let's go into what makes these watches special and the feature set that each has. I'm not going to go into every feature of each of these watches because it would be very redundant. I've got tons of videos which I will link down below in the description and you can dive deeply. But I wanna just show you what sets these watches apart or what feature sets make them very special. One big point of differentiation for all of these is the screens. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to pretty much rank the screens in order of what I think is best. So we'll start off here with the S12. Now the Garmin S12 being the entry level model for the Garmin family. It has a black and white screen. It's more of a square. It doesn't fill the entire circle there. And it's going to be a very basic screen. Although in direct sunlight, it actually is really nice to have black and white because it's very readable. So I will give the S12 that. It also is going to help you with battery life because a color AMOLED screen is going to suck a lot more battery than something like a black and white screen. So a couple pluses in that, but it is the most basic offering of these golf watches we're discussing today. Moving up the ladder here, we've got the shot scope. Now you've got a color screen here. It's still a square profile, but it does fill the entire square and it does the job. The next watch here is the newest of the bunch that we're going to talk about here today, and that's the Bushnell Ion Elite. It's got a nice bright LED style display. Again, gets the job done, even for a budget watch. Next up, we've got the Garmin S42. The S42, a really nice screen. You're getting nice color renditions. It's not as good as an AMOLED screen, 
but it's the next tier down. With the S62, you're basically going to get the same quality as the S42, even though it's a year difference in terms of age, basically the same technology, although it is a little bigger on the S62. So rather than squinting, or if you've got aging eyes, the S62 is probably the right choice there. Now getting into the best screens and watches, we'll start here with the ShotScope LX5. This is the first of the AMOLED screens. This has been out now for a few years and they got screen technology right even back then. Big, beautiful, bright display, graphics really pop. This is a fantastic looking watch face, but it does get better. Both the Garmin Epix as well as the Garmin Mark II Golfer are going to give you the best display in the business. And I will go on a limb and say it's the best display I've seen on a smartwatch, period. We're talking Apple watches, Samsung watches, anything. It is crystal clear. It is extremely bright. It's almost like the sun. They are beautiful. And what's amazing is that the battery life does not suffer too much with these. Both of these watches will last you a good week on a charge, a whole heck of a lot better than my Apple watch did for sure. Now, if we talk about all of these watches, they're all going to have great GPS capabilities with very accurate distances. I tend to gravitate towards Garmin's GPS. They've really been in the game the longest. However, some of these other companies claim to have even more accurate GPS. For instance, the new Bushnell Ion Elite uses a slope adjusted distance, and that is a pretty cool feature. You've also got companies like ShotScope, who say that they've got experts on the ground that have verified these maps and they've got the most accurate data. Skycaddy also says that their maps have actually been mapped by human beings, not just by satellite imagery out there. So for what it's worth in experience, I find them all to be really good, all within one or two yards. And that's about all you can expect from a GPS watch in the first place. If you want higher accuracy than that, you'll just have to use a rangefinder. Now, if we look into the case material and construction, that's where we can get a lot of differences in these GPS golf watches. If I was going to rank these watches in order of what I think is the best construction and durability, here's how I would rank them. Firstly, we'd start with the Bushnell Ion Elite. It's a very basic watch, nothing wrong with it, but also no frills either. It's a little light plastic case construction. I don't necessarily love the charger, but again, it's pretty good and does the job. Second on my list would be the ShotScope V3. I think it's got a little bit more durable case, but I really don't like the band on the ShotScope, and I would change that for an aftermarket band if that's possible. It just seems to collect a lot of dust, and it's just not super comfortable in my opinion. You might be different. I think you should try all of these on for yourself, but for me, don't necessarily love the band on the V3. Third on my list would be the Garmin S12. Again, this is Garmin's entry point into golf watches. You're going to get a plastic bezel and not a lot of frills, although their band and all the Garmin bands are really the best in the business in terms of comfort, durability, and strength. Next on my list would be the T9. What I do like about the T9 is it's very light. It's got decent water resistance and I think it's an all around solid package. Next up would be the Garmin S42. Here's where you're going to get a really nice case profile. I really think the dimensions are great. It's got a great balance. You've got that really nice Garmin band and now we're stepping up to a metal bezel which is going to be a little bit more durable for you. After that we've got the Skycaddy LX5. This is where you start to feel like you've really got a premium watch on your hand. Again they've got a nice band. They've got nice case construction. They've also got a ceramic bezel which is going to be scratch proof. Moving up from there we've got the Garmin S62. This is the first time you can get a ceramic bezel in a Garmin watch. The case is a little bit bigger than the S42 but not too bulky to impede your golf swing in any way and it's got that very nice high quality Garmin band on it as well. And then we get into the really premium offerings from Garmin. We've got the Epix. The Epix is going to be a very durable watch. This is really an adventurer's watch. It's got a price tag to match as well, but you've got a new and improved band on this one. 
you've got water resistance down to 100 meter depth, so you have no problem swimming or even doing some light scuba diving with a watch like this. I would have no qualms about taking it up on a ski slope, that sort of thing. This is an extremely durable watch. This will last a very long time. And lastly, we've got the Garmin Mark II Golfer. This is the Creme de la Creme. And the Garmin Mark II Golfer with basically the same guts as the Epics, this is what you're paying for. You're paying for titanium construction. You're paying for a hot horology look to it as well as a ceramic bezel. The package of the Mark II Golfer is just absolutely next level. But again, it's got a commensurate price tag to that material and case construction. The Mark II Golfer is also the only watch that actually comes on a fabric strap. It's super high quality, very nice to wear out there on the golf course. Now let's talk about the special features of each of these watches, because we know you're gonna get great GPS distances out of these, but here's what makes these watches special in their own right. First up, the Garmin S12. Again, a very basic watch. Distances to the front, middle, back, but not a lot of frills. When you move into the Bushnell Ion Elite, I would probably choose this personally over the S12 for the fact that you've got slope compensated distances. Bushnell, again, claiming their GPS to be the most accurate thing out there. And in practice, I find it to be extremely accurate as advertised. Instead of that black and white screen, you're also going to get a color screen here with the Bushnell Ion Elite. You're also going to have access to the Bushnell Golf app, which can give you some other data like green maps, flyover views, that sort of thing. So a really nice package there for a budget price. If we talk about the special features of the ShotScope V3, what's nice about the V3 is it actually comes with club sensors. You screw these into the butt ends of your clubs and now it will automatically track the clubs you use out on course. And then you can go back after a round, analyze your stats, analyze your history, and see where you need to improve. Really cool. For the Sky Caddy LX5, I think the real selling feature of this one, in addition to that beautiful AMOLED screen, is going to be the fact that you've got shot tracking and shot analysis built into this watch. It's also got a heart rate monitor, step counter, and it's just got great graphics. With a great user interface, it's just a fantastic package. Now, the only downside in my mind to the LX5 is the fact that you do need a subscription in order to unlock some of the more advanced features like the club tracking and so on. It doesn't completely break the bank, but it's another thing you've got to consider when buying the Sky Caddy LX5. It would be nice if you could just buy this thing unlocked. Now, moving on to the Voice Caddy T9, this has a really fantastic feature that you won't find in any of the other watches on this list, and that is going to be green undulation maps. In fact, you can literally walk up to the green, set where the cup is, set where your ball is, and it will tell you this is uphill, this is downhill, it's moving right or left and how much. Really cool, it's almost like cheating. Check out that video if you haven't seen it. It's an amazing feature that sets this watch apart. Now moving on to the S42, I think this is where it really starts to get good for Garmin and it's a really great entry point into the world of Garmin Golf watches. With the S42, you're now going to get club tracking. Once you take a swing, it senses that swing. You literally hit a button and select the club that you hit in that instance. When you hit your next shot, walk up to the ball and hit the next shot. That's how it knows how far that previous shot went. It's really ingenious. And you've got a really nice screen built into this one as well. So. I really love the S42. I think it sits in this Goldilocks price to value range, uh, similar to the T9. Now, if you wanna move into the S62, the big difference with the S62 is in addition to everything you get with the S42, you now get a virtual caddy. What happens with the virtual caddy is after you play five rounds of golf with the S62, it starts to learn how far you hit each club. It will begin to recommend clubs for you to hit based on where you are in the course. It will also give you different scenarios telling you your percentages if you were to take a driver off the tee, a three wood off the tee, a three hybrid off the tee, so on and so forth. So you have different scenarios you can play out and it tracks all of your stats and the app gives you a really nice breakdown and analysis of how you're performing out there on course. Next level stuff. In addition to that cool virtual caddy feature, you're now also going to get a heart rate monitor, step counter, and some more fitness tracking features. The S62 also has Garmin Pay built into it so you can literally use your watch Watch to pay for your groceries at the store, that sort of thing. You can link it up to listen to music. You can link it up to receive your text messages and notify you when phone
phone calls come in. So this is where you're starting to get a super advanced watch. But the real ultimate feature set comes when you step up into the Epics slash Mark II. Again, running the same software, you're going to get the exact same features in that same AMOLED screen, which is absolutely beautiful. So you're paying for not only just a great screen, but now, with these watches, you've got everything the S62 does, plus you've got even more fitness features. You can now track your sleep, track your body battery to see how your performance level is, see how your sleep is, your recovery. It will actually check your blood oxygen levels. It is next level. In addition to the amazing golf features, now you're tracking everything you do when it comes to athletics and fitness out there. It has amazing ski maps. It's got features for every sport out there. And you can take this in and out of the water as it has a 100 meter depth rating uh, for swimming and aquatic activities. Absolutely amazing. So guys, there's a condensed look at what these watches are capable. Now you know how much they cost and now you know what sets them apart. I hope it's really helpful as you decide the right golf watch for you. And let me know down below if you've already made that decision or what you're thinking, I would love to know. Here are a couple of videos of some of the best watches I've seen in 2023. Check those out and I'll catch you back here very soon on another edition of Let's Play Through.